Hi everyone, welcome back. This is JK and uh, uh, today's uh, video is a totally different video from the previous videos that I uh, uploaded. So today I'll be talking about uh, 10 ways to ask for help. As I think it's very uh, necessary uh, when you live in a community that there are lots of, uh, for example, native English speakers. So if you need help or if there's something you can do uh, single-handedly, so you will need somebody to help you with something. Uh, that's why I, I tried to uh, uh, write 10 ways of asking for help. So uh, the first uh, way, which is very um, easy, I think, and it's very short, uh, is can I ask a favor? So can I ask a favor means can I ask you for help? Now this sentence, whenever you um, tell this sentence to uh, somebody, uh, he, you may also need to provide some details and explanation, I think. Because if you say, can I ask a favor, he will definitely pay attention to what you are saying. And then the guy will uh, ask you what, what do you want me to help you with. Then you can uh, tell him what, uh, what kind of help you want. So the first sentence was, can I ask a favor? <clears throat> Second, uh, which is very common and very easy, I need some help, please. Now, whenever you are somewhere, for example, you are trying to lift something or you are trying to do some, something that you can't do it, uh, uh, alone or by yourself, then you can ask somebody to help you with that. For example, you can say, I need some help, please. Now, I need some help, please, uh, is a sentence that you directly uh, ask somebody to help you with something. So you will not need any other detail to provide. Uh, uh, as I told you before in Can I Ask a Favor, if you are directly on the thing that you're doing, the person, the uh, listener may understand what you want or what kind of help you need. But in this sentence, uh, whether you are there or you're not, you're not there, if you say that I need some help, please, uh, it's definitely clear that you need his help. Okay. So uh, the third sentence uh, that you can ask somebody for help is I could do with some help, please. Now this can uh, be used uh, in both situations. If somebody asks you to do something, uh, you can say that I could do with some help, please. Now this way the person or the guy who told you to do something understands that you are unable to single-handedly perform the action he asked you to. Uh, so if you say I could do with some help, please, he may definitely provide you with some help or he may tell somebody else to help you with that. Or without that, if you're doing something and you, uh, you see that somebody is, for example, uh, paying attention to what you're doing, then you can just say, I could do with some help, please. So that way the guy will understand that you need some help. I uh, hope you have understood. Uh, the fourth uh, sentence uh, that you can ask for help is can you give me a hand with this which is very common uh, usually uh, when you say give me a hand means help me with something so give me a hand means help me with something but if you want to be very polite if you want to uh, uh, for example ask for help very formally then you can say can you give me a hand with this please you can say at the end, please, if you want. So, can you give me a hand with this? Means, could you help me with this? They're the same. And the fifth uh, way to ask for, uh, uh, for help is, I wonder if you could help me with this. This is extremely polite and formal. Now, if you are doing something and you can do that, and there's somebody there, for example, uh, somebody that uh, is, uh, pretend that he's not your friend or she's not your friend. Uh, she, uh, he might be somebody of a 
higher class or or someone that uh, that you're not very for example uh, familiar and you're not very friendly with so you can say i wonder if you could help me with this i wonder if you could help me with this it also means that if you have time and if you have the patience you can help me with what i'm doing because i am unable to do it by myself uh, okay, so these were the five ways to ask for help. Uh, uh, I am going to write down five more ways to ask for help, but first let me uh, get those on and then I'll come back to the explanation. Hi, welcome back. So I have come up with uh, five more ways to ask for help. The uh, sixth one, uh, which is the first one here and the sixth one of the lesson. The sixth one is, could you spare a moment? Now here we uh, very much concentrate on the time that the uh, person uh, you're talking to will spare and uh, um, uh, give you. So could you spare a moment means uh, it's just going to take a few seconds or it's just going to take... Um, some time, just a short time, if you can help me. So it's also a way of asking for help. The seventh one is, could you help me for a second? It's again, uh, you don't really focus on what you're doing or you don't really focus on what kind of help you need, but you focus on the time that the guy is going to spare for you. So could you help me for a second is also a way uh, of asking for help. Uh, number eight is, I can't manage. Can you help? So uh, it also shows that you are desperate and you can't do something, for example. You're unable to uh, uh, do what you're doing right now or you will not be able to do it single-handedly. So that way you can ask somebody to help you with that. You can say, I can't manage. Can you help? So he definitely will say, or she will say, sure, I will, or sure, why not? So number nine is, give me a hand with this, will you? Which is not very formal and polite. Now, these two ways of asking for help is not very polite and not very formal. So if you're asking, for example, a friend, a very close friend, or if you're asking, for example, a, uh, a brother or a family member that is younger than you, you can use one of these two if you don't want to be very polite. So you can say, give me a hand with this, which uh, I also mentioned in the, I think, uh, third uh, sentence. So give me a hand with this. And at the end, when you say, well, you, it means it's some kind of, uh, imperative. It's it, it's a, a, an order. So you can say, give me a hand with this, will you? So it means that you ordered the person to help you with something. Or if you say, lend me a hand with this, will you? Or they, they, these two are the same. So lend me a hand with this, will you also means that you order somebody to help you with something. Someone that uh, will be usually under your control and uh, someone that uh, usually is, uh, for example, compelled to listen and to do what you tell him or her. So lend me a hand with this, will you? So uh, that's it. These were the f uh, 10 ways of asking for help. Now, if you live in a country or in a city that there are lots of, uh, for example, native English speakers, you may face problems uh, while asking uh, for help or if there's something you are doing or you are, for example, on a job and you want to do something and uh, you can do it. So you can uh, use one of these uh, sentences to ask for help. And definitely the, the guy, the native speaker, native English speaker, uh, when you say this, he or she will definitely understand that you need help. Now, you don't need to memorize all of these 10 sentences, but uh, you can use them in your daily conversation. Now, whichever uh, of these uh, that you think is easier for you, 
you can learn and memorize that and then you can use it in your daily conversation or when you are in need of help <laughs> and something else you don't need to just just say the exact words and uh, you don't need to say every single word that you see here you can change it a little bit but uh, just try to uh, just try to make sure that you don't uh, mix it uh, very much like uh, if not you will uh, then uh, you uh, the person will not be able to understand what you're saying so try to uh, try to make it easier for yourself but do not make it as complicated and as uh, for example different uh, that uh, the uh, the person who uh, should not be uh, able to understand what you're saying okay so uh, that's it for today uh, uh, if you if there's anything uh, you want me to talk about if there's anything you want me to teach you or if there's anything in English language that uh, you want to know uh, by um, uh, through our uh, YouTube channel please let me know uh, by writing in the comment section and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet uh, please do it right now uh, and uh, don't forget to like uh, our videos and click the bell icon down there so you get notification for uh, our videos that we upload uh, see you in the next video and uh, have a good time. Bye.